off and look. So that looks like a good day to have an indoor project. By the way, the uh, grass is coming along nicely. <laughs> at this mess today what we got going on is obviously I'm not fishing I'm really doing much anything we're in the middle of a monsoon here in Ontario well okay it's not a monsoon it's it's getting there but it's not a monsoon Jen's been on my case about building a compost pile now as you know we've been doing a lot of self-sufficient stuff around here we harvested our own seeds we're gonna plant our own plants and now she wants a compost pile so we are off to Home Hardware Uptown here in Tilbury. And that's what I'm going to make it out of, is scrap pallets. So I'm going to do this for zero dollars. So you can all do the same thing. Zero dollars and meet your own compost pile. Let's head uptown. Right, guys thanks to home hardware we got our pallets we're gonna head home break some of them down see if we can make something out of nothing see you in the shop get a german shepherd they said get two they said we got a mud pit and if it was any bigger you could bring a truck back here and go through it anyway we are back home we got the skids here have a look they are not in the best shape. They're going to take a little more work than I was hoping. I mean, come on, I'm looking to take the easy way out. I wanted to nail three together and then put a door on the front to keep the dogs out because they'll eat the scraps that you throw in there. Apparently, I got to take some apart and put some back together and how I get roped into this stuff. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to build yourself a compost pile. A compost pile? I'm going to show you how to build yourself a composter for zero dollars. Oh, I already had the screws, so they don't count. All right, guys, the tools that you're going to need, you, these are a must, okay? First thing you got to have is a cell phone, music, all right? Second thing you need is a coffee. You also need screws, which are over on the shelf over there. You're going to need a drill. You're going to need a hammer. You're also going to need a big saw. Last thing that you're going to need is a pry bar, which I'd show you, but I uh, can't find it right now. Anyway, I'll get you moved out of here so I don't knock you over. All right, so I've been out here slaving away, building her compost box. I told her, I says, I could use something to eat. She says, well, well, you know where the stove is. I'm like, I'm out in the shed working here. Can you make me some lunch? She said, no. Nope. I said, you don't make me some lunch. I'm going to let them two German shepherds out in the backyard. And they're about to go mudding. She's making me some lunch. Boys, you got to stick to your guns here. We all know that ain't true. All right, I'll run to the shed, grab the felt paper, roofing paper, come back, put it on. We're just about done. All right, guys, I got the roofing paper. And no, that's not where the heater's going. I just got to create some space here. What I did realize is that I got to take some of these boards off of this one here and put them across here. That way my dogs don't get in there and try and eat something. Also, across the top here, I'm going to put a separate door. Well, it's going to act like a door. It's going to be on hinges. And then we can just open that up, put the compost in the pail, or throw it right over into the garden, and go from there. It's coming. It's coming. I'm almost impressed. You know that? I doubt you are, but I'm almost impressed. And I ain't bleeding yet. Imagine that. Almost all projects I do involve bloodshed. 
either mine or somebody else's, usually mine, I got zero blood loss. Zero. And now that I said that, I'm going to cut a finger off here. I got to learn to speak at the end, not in the middle. guys rain sleet snow are not going to stop her from giving me a project but guess what we are done yes we got the composting bin done i can't paint it yet still a little cold out to paint but we're going to paint it once we get it out there and the weather clears up a little bit but here's what we got there you have it not the bicycle there you go I made that for zero dollars. Zero. I had some old screws laying around, some old two by fours. Uh, the pallets come from a lumber yard. Find me here. Pallets come from a lumber yard, and that's your composting pile. Because you guys, you know, like I said, we we are big gardeners. We like to have our food come right out of our garden. It's just another way to help produce better quality food. I can see both German shepherds inside here, trying to get the scraps. But here's what it is. Looks pretty good. We're gonna get it out there. And then when it warms up a little bit, I'll, I'll tidy up some of the edges down there because some of them are a little rough. And then throw a coat of paint on it, and there's your compost bin. Now I gotta wade my way through the mud swamp out there to get this out there. Remember I told you about dinner? Egg salad sandwich isn't super ready. Just got the message. Apparently she got the message too. <laughs> right. All right, let me get this out there. I'm gonna go in and eat, and we're gonna call it a day. All right, guys, that's all I got for today's video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all learned something there. Just slapping together some pallets. Get yourself a compost bin. And I didn't want to show you me wading through the mud out there to put it in place. But it's in place. You'll probably see it in future videos. Anyway, that's all I got. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you got something out of that. I'd appreciate it very much. And the like button. Because it all helps. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Later. I need a bigger hammer. I got a bigger hammer. Bigger than that, I can go bigger than that too. That's what she said.